in, in 2002, I decided I needed to buy a four-wheel drive. I had a little Hyundai XL and we used to go camping in it and it was so packed that when we got to where we were going, once I opened the door, everything would pop out. <laughs> So we needed a bigger vehicle, so we bought a Nissan Patrol. Everything sort of escalated from there. We were childhood sweethearts and we used to go away camping on weekends and we'd always be in Mark's four drive. We got married in 92 and started the business as soon as we come back from our honeymoon. It was called Mark's Off-Road Centre and then a couple of years later we started ARB Rock Hampton. My happy place would have to be Fraser Island. Scott's got a fishing rod, I've got my crocheting on my sewing go anywhere but we like Fraser, we like being near the water. Scott's like a big kid then we get to Fraser Island, we get to Indian Head and someone gets bogged. So Scott's got to get out of the car, get all his gear, recover them, pull them across, I spend a lot of time waiting for him. I don't know how many times we've pulled up for people on the side of the road. If they look lost or if they're broken down we have to stop, which that's what I love about him. It's part of the four-wheel drive culture. I, I think you it help is. people in need. Yeah. yeah, you do. We really enjoy our four-wheel drive trips away. One aspect that we love is our off-road racing. It has taken us to a lot of places around the country. We love the people who are involved in it. Gets us away for the weekend. Our son Oliver was able to navigate for his father. That was great fun. Look, we always had different jobs to do. Mark was the, always the salesman. He was the businessman, the ideas man, and I'm very good at doing all of the back office work, all of the tidying up. So it worked well. Scott and I work together really well. We both have our own roles. If we have problems or if we have stress, we deal with it in different ways. I want to talk about it. He sometimes wants to go away and think about it. Very early on, I learnt that Scott's strength was the sales and the technical side and mine was the customer service. So between the two of us together, we tend to be able to make it work. When the customers come into the store, I like to introduce myself, find out their names, find out their story and what their requirements are. And then I like to match them up with one of our staff members who can give them the right advice and get them on their way. You're helping people set up for their holidays, with the best accessories that they can to make their holiday the greatest so they can talk about it for years to come. We make it more about the couple and not just the bloke. They're going away on a holiday together. We want to make it comfortable for them. Well, over the last few years, it is more common to have women come in. They've done their homework. They come in and ask for a certain product. They know what they want to make their trip easier for them, that it won't let them down and they'll have the best experience they can and they're going to get value out of it again and again and again. We've made a lot yeah, of great exactly. friends yeah. through selling them product yeah. and coming into the store not knowing them and just building a relationship. It just is what happens, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, it all starts with your love of full driving and touring the country. We really enjoy being part of the four-wheel drive industry. We have the same passion as our customers when it comes to Definitely. living the lifestyle. I just think in our industry, we're very fortunate to work in it and to be able to extend it on the weekends and live it. When it comes to working together, at ARB, we get it.